We're live. Oh my god. Chipotle. 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 <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, so we're back. Um Hey Sharice. Hey Bruna. It's Camille. It's Camille. Camille. I'm sorry, Camille. But that's my boo, Brianna. <laughs> Comment if you guys hear us and see us. Who else? Hey, Cherise, Queen Pearl. I'm sorry, I'm looking this way because we have our phone on landscape so you can see the both of us. So, yay, give us hearts. Hey, guys. All right, so. I feel like an old person be like, <laughs> what's this? <laughs> <laughs> what, is this what is this here? What is this? Both of y'all big heads got hats. <laughs> I love y'all. We love you too, Camille. Yeah, we're twinning it today. Now we just love the baseball game. Hey, from the UK. What's up? <laughs> oh, this is so special. I love Periscope. All right, so if you don't know who we are, um, we are Shift ATL, which is the college and young adult ministry for World Changers Church International in College Park, Georgia. Pastors Creflo and Taffy Dollar. So I just had to give y'all that little rundown of who we are. What's that? All these what? I can't even. All these vids of people driving around. Be safe. Yes, we are safe. <laughs> we're safe. Thank you so much. I'm in the parking lot. Yeah, we're in the parking <laughs> lot, and I actually have a camera mount on our uh in our car, so we're not holding the phone at all. And he's driving, I'm not. <laughs> hey from WCCNY, love you guys. Our family, our New York family. All right, so we just wanted to come and talk about SHIFT for a bit. Like who we are, what we stand for, you know, what we're about, all of that. Um, especially for those who are in the Atlanta area, inviting you guys out. So yeah, get it, Baca? <laughs> right, hold on, because I'm parking. <laughs> okay, yeah. We're being safe. Yeah, safety first. All right. So yeah, hey guys. All right, so I need to look over here Let's at turn the it camera. Turn up a little bit, yeah. Who's on the hat? Atlanta, we're from Atlanta. So we're repping Atlanta. Yeah, so just to tell you guys a little bit about Shift, um, I don't know, did you say your name? I'm Ayana. Yeah, and I'm Baca. So, we are the overseers of our young adult ministry at World Changes Church. And one thing about Shift, Shift is a place for young adults who really love God and also just a place where you can really enjoy the fellowship of other young adults to really get to know God for yourself. Um, a lot of times as young adults, we go through this thing where it's like, well, I am, <laughs> I go to church because my mom takes me mm -hmm. or, um, I the only thing that I know about God is what somebody else told me. So the thing about shift, um, shift is not an acronym. Shift is about actually shifting your life out of just knowing about God and to actually knowing him for yourself. Mm -hmm. um, everything that we focus on at shift is, is all about a personal relationship. We don't focus on trying to, you know, beat people down with religion is not any type of religious uh activities that take place <laughs> everything that we are is literally just to show people the love of god and really just us um expressing who jesus really is um because for the most part a lot of um how how people see god they see him as this i'm gonna beat you up i'm gonna um <laughs> i'm gonna kill you you know if you mess up or you're going to hell today uh you if you do this wrong then this is gonna happen but uh that's not god the reality is, um, ever since Jesus died, like God only sees us through Jesus. He doesn't see us through the stuff that we did wrong, the stuff that we even did right, because we can't get it right. This life is actually impossible to live without him. So I know for myself, um, I grew up in a, I wouldn't say it's nothing traditional, but I grew up in a, um, I'm, I'm African. My parents are from Ghana. So I grew up, I went to a, uh, an African church, I'll just say that. And at our church, we uh, we actually used to just go, me and my brothers, and we'll just go upstairs and play pool. So we actually didn't really pay attention mm -hmm. at all. Because <laughs> uh, also we didn't really understand. We thought I was born stupid. And um, eventually when I turned like 18 and I had a decision that if I want to go to church or not, um, I decided I didn't want to go. Mm -hmm. So I did not go to church. 
Um, you could not tell me to go to church. You couldn't make me go to church. Um, church was, it was a routine for me. And then eventually I started, because every Sunday I was down at the altar. I rededicated every single Sunday. Shoot, I rededicated after every message. Uh, anytime it was raining, I'm like, <laughs> Jesus, uh, I believe you. Amen. Like, I will rededicate and I will make sure that I'm saved because I thought that Jesus was coming back, like, as soon as I did something wrong. Yeah. So, again, um, the way Shift came about is we're a group of young adults who we've gone through that phase of saying, well, you know what? I want, I actually only went to church or I only know the stuff I know about God is only what somebody else told me. Um, and now we've come to a place where we say, you know what? I want to actually know God for myself. Like, I'm tired of people telling me that he's going to beat me up. I'm tired of people telling me that he's going to, um, you know, I have to fit this. I got to dress this way as a, as a female. I can't, I can't have a nose ring. I can't, uh, <laughs> I can't, there's so many rules there's like so that many you, rules. you unnecessary rules completely like, unnecessary. like god accepts you and loves you for who you are like me having a nose ring or having tattoos or whatever I mean, blue hair blue hair and all of that like i'm that's he's not he doesn't love me any less because of those things so no. so everything again that we're about is all about completely showing <laughs> <laughs> we see you, Sharice. Body piercing <laughs> saved my life. <laughs> uh, everything that we're about is just completely showing people that, man, God really loves you. Um, you couldn't earn his love, so you can't lose his love. Um, it's really, <laughs> it's, it's, there's so much freedom in having a real relationship with him. Yeah. Hi, hey, from Belgium. Belgium. Oh, I yeah. love Periscope. It's like <laughs> connecting all of us. Yeah. So. But let's talk about Speak for a second, and then we're about to go. Just a little preview about Speak. Um, it's our new series that starts tomorrow, tomorrow at 7.30. So if you are in the Atlanta area, come on out to 2500 Burdett Road um, in the WCYE building. We will be having our shift event, and we'll be talking here. about Speak. And <laughs> yeah, you want to tell them a little bit about Speak, what you're going to be talking about? Okay. So, Speak. Um, what Speak is all about is um, pretty much there's a lot of noise. There's a lot of um, uh, commotion out, let's say, in the world. And everything is actually designed to keep you silent. As a believer, um, the thing that I know that I've seen is like you, as a believer, you can't really believe anymore. Because if you're a believer, oh, you're wrong. <laughs> if, um, you know, if you, if you say, well, man, God is so good. Well, something must be wrong with you. You you have to be deep or you're you're so weird so in other words because we naturally stand out i mean the bible says that we are a chosen generation we are peculiar actually um and because we're peculiar or we're just different a lot of times that difference has made us be, become silent that we don't even say anything we don't tell people man god is actually real god is alive um my life has completely changed ever since he came in ever since I accepted him and he saw me for who I really was and made me a completely different person. We can't say that anymore because you're gonna get talked about. You're lame, you're stupid, you're uh, corny, you're deep, you're judgmental, you're like every single thing to keep you silent. And the thing with uh, Speak, Speak is all about um, taking that control back. Um, the reality is this world is literally waiting to see Jesus. And for the most part, um, many of us believers have become so silent that we don't even show who he is anymore. We don't tell people, um, man, God loves you. We don't even say that because that's, that's deep. That's, that's cliche. Like, what's wrong with saying God loves you? Like, it's true. God loves you. Yeah. Like, that brings peace to me that God loves me. Like, if I'm having a, if I have something going on, a situation, or I'm feeling a certain type of way, just that peace of knowing that God loves me and he takes care of me and everything is handled, that just, it that solidifies everything like mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what's going on so what's wrong with saying that yeah and it's i'll just say it's um <laughs> when it's dark outside you have to turn the lights on and we are literally the light of the world but a lot of us we put our lights under under um shades under uh like we just literally hide ourselves to to fit in with any any other group anyone who would accept us and the funniest part about being accepted by people is um, the moment you're accepted by this person, this person rejects you. 
but the reality is God has already accepted you. So speak is really just saying, you know what? I acknowledge my difference. I acknowledge that, that God has called me out to be, to literally be different, um, be a different person. But even with that, um, just showing people, man, this is, I'm a, I'm a believer and, and <laughs> I'm not ashamed. I'm not, I'm not afraid to tell somebody, man, God loves me. I'm God's favorite. Like, I know that. I don't know if you know that, but I know for myself, I am God's favorite. Like he, when I wake up, he's thinking about me. When I go to sleep, he's, he's, he's filling me up with dreams and thoughts of, he's like, man, did you know that tonight, like three eyelashes fell out? Did you know that, um, when the, even though it was dark, when you woke up in the morning and you didn't turn the light on, I was watching the way you were walking because I care about even the way you step, like your steps are so ordered by me that I am always constantly thinking about every single moment of you. Like everything that, that you're going through. Like the fact that I wanted a hat. <laughs> I've been wanting a hat for 30 years. Now, this may be weird to a lot of people, but I am, I, I know I said it as joking online, but this is so funny to me that, that um, God, like I've been wanting a hat forever, but I've been always talked about because everybody's like, you got the biggest head, blah, blah, blah. So I was actually ashamed to go into a hat store. But yesterday I was like, I don't care. Let me just see. And I walked in and I asked the guy, hey, do y'all measure heads? And he like laughed. He was like, just try the hat on. And I was like, mm, okay. Okay. So I put the hat on. And I was like, hey, this feel good. And the moment she looked at me, she's like, hey, you, you look so good. good. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's up? <laughs> so in that moment, I was like, man, I'm about to get this hat. So he knew that, man, this is something that's going to really brighten up his day. Yep. That throughout the day, everything else was happening, whether it was good or bad. But then just to go to the mall, literally just to go to a, a hat store mm -hmm. and walk in and see a hat like mm, I want to put it on and now I got a hat yep. and it's dope <laughs> Thanks, Reese. so it's it's just my mind is completely blown at how amazing God is and, and God is not he hasn't saved us and Jesus didn't die for us to be silent mm -hmm. so people need to see the Jesus that's in you yep. they need to see they need to know that as a married couple that you can actually be married like we're not corny because we got the same thing on no i don't i don't, don't care, care. <laughs> like so what like so this um my bff forever exactly <laughs> yep real life so but the thing is man it's it's just it's time to show people man because people are dying people are there's people committing suicide there's people that's that's confused about life and we have the answer like we literally have the answer <laughs> we literally have the answer on the inside of us, but we allow the world to keep us silent. And the world wants us to be paralyzed minds. They don't want us moving. They don't want us speaking. They don't want us. Um, they literally want us frozen. And if we don't stand up now, we'll do that. Like we're being frozen. Let it go. Let, Let it go. go. <laughs> that was dope. Yeah. But anyway, um, yeah, I can kind of talk forever, but uh, just that's really where we are with this. And we're extremely passionate because if you know what has freed you, let somebody know. Somebody's waiting on your freedom, but if you hide all day and stay in the closet, stay in the booth in the back in the corner, and you just, well, I'm not going to say nothing, or you don't even drink alcohol, but you're holding a cup in a club because you want to look cool. But whatever. You let it go. Be who God called you to be and stand yeah. out. Yeah. Speak up. Open your mouth and, and let people see the God that's in you. God gave you the ability to call light to be, but the whole time you're complaining about the dark. Yeah. Wake up. This world needs you. Needs you. So it's time to speak. Yeah. So that's it. Um, we'll see you guys. If you're, of course, like we said, if you're in the Atlanta area, come on out. We start. Doors open at 7. We open, um, doors, uh, excuse me, doors open at 7. We start at 7.30. We will also be periscoping our service. So, so for those of you who are not in Atlanta, you can check us out um, on Periscope at 7.30. We'll be putting clips from service, especially the message so you guys can hear. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at ShiftATL and like our Facebook page, Shift Young Adult Ministry. Uh, we love you guys so much. Thanks for tuning in and 
sticking with us for these last few minutes. Yeah. Uh, we'll be doing much more periscopes, um, just checking in and all of that. So, love you guys.